What's up, everybody? This is Jose with Oakland Latinos United, a.k.a. Oakland Latinos Unidos, on here with a new video for you to enjoy. That's a beautiful view of the Bay Area, like always. If anyone can guess where I'm at, I'm not going to say what city I'm in. I'm not in Oakland. Put it in the comments. But anyway, I'm on here with a new video for you to enjoy. And uh, my topic today is about the shooting in Gilroy, California. So this last Sunday, today being Tuesday... There was a shooting at a festival called the Garlic Festival, which happens in <coughs> in Gilroy, California. Those of you who don't know where Gilroy is, it's a it's a small town, about I would say thirty miles, about thirty minutes uh, south of San Jose. Uh, I actually been there before, <coughs> a long time ago, probably like shit at this point, like twenty years ago, 20, 15 years ago. I know there's an area called San Martin nearby. And there's Morgan Hill as well. <clears throat> but in Gilroy, basically, there was a festival last Sunday. It was called the Garlic Festival, and they've been doing it every year. I believe that Gilroy is a garlic-growing town. That's It was an agricultural town, I believe. It made its money off uh, garlic. But, yeah, they have a festival every year. I've heard about the, Gil about the Garlic Festival way back in the 90s, you know what I mean? So it's been going on for a long time. Never been. But unfortunately, this weekend, some crazed lunatic armed with a, with a, I think, a, a AK-47, I believe, went into the festival and shot up the place and killed three people. And again, this is very common. You know, some psychopathic shooter shooting up a place, killing innocent people. You know what I mean? Where have we seen this before? A lot of weird events have turned on, have come up about the shooter himself. They say that his name was Santino William Legan, 19 of, I believe he was from Gilroy. They said that he had bought the weapon legally in Nevada, and I guess the weapon was illegal in California, brought it across, and uh, they said that he had went through an entrance to the back and cut holes through a fence to get in and then began shooting. I guess the police shot and killed him not long after he began shooting, which is, you know, thank God the police killed that fucking punk. But, um, yeah, he killed three people and injured several others. <clears throat> it's a miracle he didn't kill more, especially having a high-powered automatic weapon. And, I mean, this is, once again... Another shooting by a crazed, deranged, dumbass whose probably motives were probably right wing or racist. You know what I mean? They did. I did read in a report, an article saying that he had posted something about on his Instagram that he was uh, the the garlic festival was a a festival to sell overpriced stuff, and that it was gonna overpopulate the city of Gilroy with with white twats from Silicon Valley and mestizos, meaning basically code word for Mexicans is what he really wanted to say, or Latinos, you know what I mean? You know, mestizos, and you know, if you know what mestizo is, it means, you know, you're half uh, Spanish and half Native American, you know, which is basically what a lot of, you know, Latinos, so-called Latinos or Raza is. Not all of us, but a lot of us. But anyway, you know, his intentions possibly were already that he wanted to kill some Mexicans or some mestizos and some white twats. I think what he means by white twat from Silicon Valley, he's probably meaning liberals from from Silicon Valley. You know, chances are he probably was some right wing incel, virgin, no pussy getting motherfucker that went nuts and shot up the whole place. I mean, I could be wrong. I know it says that he was a... He, and somewhere I read that he was part Italian and part Persian or Iranian. You know, I don't know if he was or if he wasn't. I just know that that's what they said. But that doesn't mean anything, you know what I mean? Just because you're you're brown or even black doesn't mean that you can't have a right-wing agenda. And I'm not saying he did have a right-wing agenda because I don't know. I haven't heard the whole story of what might have drove him crazy or what might have drawn him to do this. But, you know, this is yet another domestic terrorist piece of fucking shit 
who went to a festival and killed a bunch of innocent people in Gilroy or Gilas, as the Chicanos locally call it. And you know, it's tragic, man. It's just, it's just fucking tragic. You know, you know, in this world we live in, where they blame black people, brown people, you know, Muslim for the for violence. But usually it's some right-wing reactionary lunatic, you know what I mean, who gets a gun and wants to blame black and brown and, and, and goes on some kind of killing spree, killing, a lot of times killing whites as well. And, you know, it's, it's the same story over and over again. We're the problem, yet those, those motherfuckers are out there killing people, these domestic terrorists. And that's what I'm going to call them because that's what they are. I don't really care if people get mad or if they get triggered. That's what they fucking are. A terrorist is someone who terrorizes people with a political agenda. You know, and chances are this dude might have had one. He might have been an incel. He might have been a right-wing Trump supporter. He might have been some crazy fucking lunatic. I mean, supposedly he was reading some kind of pro-fascist book too or, or was quoting it on his Instagram page according to what I read. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just another tragic story. You know, rest in peace to the families, you know, to the fallen, you know, Stephen Romero, who was a six-year-old young boy, young Chicano Raza boy, you know what I mean? Kayla Salazar, 13, who was a young Mexicana, young Latina, whose life was cut short, and Trevor Irby, 25, who I believe might have been African-American, you know, all people of color killed by some sick fucking piece of shit, you know, and my, my, you know, I don't mean to cuss, but it just frustrates me, man, well, you know, my condolences to the families, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a tragedy, and I could only imagine what they're going through, man, you know, and, and it's just, ah, man, it's just the same story over and over again, another pendejo, you know, dumbass with a gun shooting up a bunch of people for nothing. I mean, you can't even have fun at a fucking festival without some stupid motherfucker going to do some stupid shit. You know, and, and fuck that dude, Santino Legion or whatever his name was. He's a fucking piece of shit who doesn't res deserve the respect or the fucking uh, anything. Fuck that fool. I hope he's burning in fucking hell if there is a hell, piece of shit. You know, ruins people's lives because he can't get his life together, probably. You know, some nerdy-ass punk. But anyway, that's really all I wanted to say. You know, RIP to all the families that lost loved ones. You know, I hope the people that are injured get well soon and get taken care of. You know, it's just tragic that, you know, all these people were just having fun at a festival. Same way I go. I go to many festivals. I love going to festivals. You know, and to think that I could get my life taken away by some dumb fuck is sad, but it's the reality, you know? Well, this is Jose with Oakland Latinos United. Peace.